our staying on the prescription of IPOP by uh, a court of law now, I mean, on the, the, on the request of the federal government. And joining us to discuss this is Professor Jerry Madaki, who is a uh, former school of law, Catholic University of the former school of law, Catholic University of Eastern Africa in Nairobi, Kenya, and is also a legal practitioner. You're welcome to Sunrise Daily. Yeah, thank you. What is your reading of all that has happened in the last couple of weeks, uh, starting from when the military said they were going to start Operation Python Dance 2 in the southeast? Uh, I personally believe that one of the cardinal and fundamental responsibility of any government, especially a constitutional government democratically elected, is the protection of the lives of our citizenry. If that be the case, government will do everything within the ambit of the law to ensure that every citizen of Nigeria and all persons lawfully resident in Nigeria will go about their normal duties in exercise of their basic fundamental rights and freedom without molestation or without threat or intimidation from any person, no matter how highly placed or lowly placed. And IPOP, the Independent Peoples of, of, of Biafra, if I'm right. Indigenous. The indigenous people of Biafra. And I think that uh, appellation indigenous under international law or classification is wrong. But by their pronouncement, by their activities, having arrogated unto themselves powers which they do not possess, uh, declaring uh, public holidays, so to say, stay-at-home order, declaring that there will not be election, is obviously the constitute threat, not only to our national security, but threat to the lives and property of every individual. And I think government will, 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 will be shaking in her responsibility if nothing is done about it. So I personally believe, and I also believe that I am supported by the position of the law, that the federal government acted properly and timelessly in, 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 in tagging IPOP as a terrorist organization and further proscribing the organization in exercise of the power vested on the federal government. Mm. A lot of people agree that the methods of IPOB, I mean, were definitely very questionable yes. in terms of how it, and they, uh, they say what he's done, I mean, what they did was wrong. But then they also question, you say that what the federal government has, been, has done has been done within the ambits of law. But they say, they argue that no, that what the federal government has done it's not quite lawful and hasn't really followed the rule of law. Well, because I am not privy to that, <clears throat> uh, to that view, I will not know under which law such argument is based or hinged. Mm. Let's start from Section 218 of the Constitution, talking about the role of the military to come in uh, and help in uh, civilian duties, I mean, to, to help quell an insurrection, for instance. Uh, they say that the definition of an insurrection was not quite met in this instance. Do you agree with them? No, I don't agree with them. If, 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 first and foremost, I personally, at this stage, see IPOB as a combatant organization. Even though they never carried arms, at least not in the open when we saw them? If, if, if it is, if, even though we don't see them on the streets with arms, but do not forget that the president of Nigeria has available to him all the security apparatchik that gives him security reports, as, 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 as they call it, on a daily basis. Do not forget that in the last couple of months in this country, we've had cases of seizures of container loads of various forms of arms, including rocket propelled grenades, including assault rifles, including them pump actions, as the case may be. Which we have not been told has been linked to IPOB. Which we have not been told has been linked to IPOB. But personally, the way and manner, because for you, for you, to determine whether these persons are involved either in armed combat, in armed combat, or it's a combatant organization, is their modus operandi. And I personally believe, I personally believe 
that as a matter of fact, even without outrightly saying so, IPOP is as good as having declared a war on the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And I personally believe no responsible government would just think her responsibility, you know, to deal with such situation with a view of granting, I mean, I mean with a view of the greater majority enjoying their freedoms as enshrined in the Nigerian constitution and other laws uh, applicable in Nigeria under international conventions and as the case may be. Mm. If you speak with IPOP, they will say that what they called for was a referendum. They never called for war. That they want a referendum to take place in the country. But that's uh, on the one hand. Much later, I mean, we saw there was a confrontation much later with the, the military and um, the, the an IPOP in the southeast, which later on led to the military describing IPOP, um, declaring them as a militant terrorist organization. And then we heard from the from no less than the Senate president, saying that the manner in which the military had gone about it was unconstitutional. Do you agree? No, I do not agree with the Senate president. A lot of persons have questions uh, 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 the legality or otherwise of the military describing IPOP as a terrorist organization. Within Nigerian laws? Yeah, just a minute if you will bear with me. In the first instance, what is the definition of whom a terrorist is? In as much as there are so many definitions of whom a terrorist or a terrorist organization is, it is basically an organization or a person that uses force or the threat of force calculated to intimidate or to coerce a person or a group of persons to cotto or to toe their line of thinking or their ideological inclination, which could be political, which could be, uh, which could be religious, or ultimately towards a particular political aim, in this case, uh, having, a country, having a country of their own. So if I see you do a thing like that, I think exercising my freedom of expression, I can outrightly say that this person is a terrorist or this organization is a terrorist. But however, in order for that organization to be so properly identified as a terrorist organization, the position of the law, not only in Nigeria, is that a court of competent jurisdiction will have to be approached. And under Section 2 of the Terrorism Prevention Act of Nigeria 2011, and as amended in 2013, the Attorney General can approach the court with an application that these are the evidence and place the fact before the court that classify this organization as a terrorist organization and consequently proscribe the organization. And that is what has been done with the consent and the presence of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And I think it is proper. And I think it is timely. Do you don't think it was horrid? No, it was not in any way horrid because we must learn from our mistakes. For instance, Boko Haram actually started around 2001. And I believe that the government approached it or handled it with kid glove. Not until in 2009, when their leader, Yusuf, was killed extrajudicially, let me put it that way, because he was arrested live. The whole world saw him arrested and saw him live. And the next thing we knew, he was killed. And that literally made the organization to mutate from their initial modus operandi to virtually full uh, 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 war against the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We do not have to wait. And when I say we, I talk as a Nigerian who has a stake in Project Nigeria, we do not have to wait for the crisis orchestrated by IPOP in the eastern section of this country to mutate to something of such dimensions that we can no longer handle before, before action is taken. The life of one person is as important as the life of thousands of persons.